Hi everyone, Alex here, continuing with our HVAC series. Today we're going to create our HVAC model. So we'll be linking in our architectural and structural models. We will create our levels, our floor plans, and get ready to continue with our HVAC modeling. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and start a new project. So we go to Models, New. For a template, I'm gonna browse and I'm gonna go up to Template so I can get into US metric. And lately you have this template here, Systems, that contains electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. So that one's pretty useful. But for now, I'm just gonna stick to mechanical. I'm gonna do the 2020 tutorial as separate disciplines and then probably the 2023 or 2024 I'll do the system template so let's hit open we're going to create a new project now the first thing we're going to do is link our architectural model for that we come here to insert Revit link we navigate to the location of our architectural file we can keep the position as auto internal origin to internal origin open let's move this elevation marks away and before we accidentally move anything here i'm going to click on my link i want to pin it in place another thing i want to do is go to edit type and allow the room bounding that's gonna allow me to create spaces wherever there are rooms i'm going to take this elevation mark to the side and actually i'm going to take this one a little bit lower and I'm gonna take this outside just because of my OCD I'm gonna take this a little bit more towards the center now the next step would be to check our levels and create other levels that are necessary so let's go ahead and go to our south elevation and as you can see if you remember when we explored the architectural model it had three levels and then the roof and the parapet those are this ones here right level one level two level three the roof and the parapet now the only levels we have because of our template are levels one and level two and they're right here see them level one and level two so what I like to do is grab them from here and take them a little bit outside and the way you can differentiate them is if you click here and it selects the whole thing those are the levels from the architect you could use some filtering options to change the color so you can identify them a little bit easier but we're gonna do that later for now the only thing I want to do is this level two that I have is a little bit too high compared to the one from the architect, right? So I'm gonna hit AL and I'm going to click on the architect's level and then on my level so that it comes down and it becomes a line, okay? And now we want to either create level three roof and parapet or we can do what's called copy monitor and then you could bring the architect's level into your model. And the way you do that is you come here to collaborate and you come here to copy monitor you need to select the link that you want to monitor or copy from and if you hover over the architectural model you'll see that little sign that says Arct RVT so that's letting you know that you're selecting the architectural model so that's good let's click on it now we want to copy some levels I'm gonna select multiple because I want to copy multiple levels so I'm gonna click on level 3 control key level four control key and parapet i'm gonna bring those three levels so i'm gonna click finish the finish that i click is this one down here finish and now i'm still in the copy monitoring environment because revit is allowing me to monitor because the only levels that are being monitored now if you zoom in here you see this little heart rate monitor that's letting you know that if any of these three levels change in the architectural model, it'll alert you so that you can modify accordingly. But the original two levels that we had with our template are not being monitored yet. So Revit is keeping the copy monitor environment active. So you can go back and then click here on monitor and then say, okay, I wanna monitor my level one from the architect's level one. And now you see I have my little hard monitor here and I do the same from level two to the architect's level two, and that's my monitor. So if I 
Now take this level of mine and I take it out. Notice that the other two underneath also come down. And now what I'm gonna do is this parapet, thing, I'm gonna click here so that I can take this up and I can properly read. I could also change my scale, of course, but if I wanna keep this scale, that's one option. And now one tip that you need to know is that the levels that have floor plans associated to them, they're in blue. The ones that you see in black don't have any floor plans associated to them. So I'm gonna create some floor plans, one for level three and one for the roof. I'm not gonna create a plan for the, the parapet level. But before that, I'm gonna click finish. So I finish my copy monitor environment exercise. Now let's create our floor plans for level three and roof. To do that, we come here to view and then under plan views, I'm gonna to go to floor plans and notice that the only levels that are available are the ones that don't have any views associated to them. Notice that I don't see level one or level two in this list because I already have some floor plans here. But that's because this is checked. Do not duplicate existing views. If I had that unchecked, then I would have level one and level two available as well. So I'm gonna keep this checked and I'm gonna select level three and roof, which are the two levels that I wanna create floor plans for. And I'm gonna click OK. And just like that, we have a level three and a level roof. And I'm gonna rename this. For now, I'm gonna call this level one floor plan. I'm gonna call this level two floor plan. This one level three floor plan. And this one roof floor plan. Should be roof plan, but it doesn't matter. Let's just keep it roof floor plan. And then this one I'm gonna call level one ceiling mechanical. This one level two ceiling mechanical. To be consistent with the naming, I'm gonna add the dash here. And I'm gonna add the mech at the end. I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna do the same here. And I'm gonna do the same here. Now I have to create the other two ceiling plans that are missing. So the same way I did with the floor plans, I just come here to plan views, but now I go to reflected ceiling plans. Again, I have level three and roof available. I'm gonna control select and click okay. And you notice that they're not here. So we need to go find them. They typically fall under coordination. You see this question marks here? If I expand that, I can see that even though they're categorized as ceiling plans, they're properly categorized as ceiling plans, uh, for some reason they're not falling within the mechanical subheader. And the reason is that when you, when you click on this view, what you see on the properties palette are the properties of that view. So notice that when I click on the view, the discipline is set to coordination. So Revit has an organization that is very flexible, but at the same time, you need to get used to it. So let's go ahead and understand how this is organized. So if you come here to views and you right click and go to browser organization, the browser organization that is being used for this project right now is by discipline. So if I click on edit to understand how this works, you can see that under grouping and sorting, it first groups by discipline, then by subdiscipline, and then by family and type. So discipline and subdiscipline. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. If I click on roof, my discipline is coordination. That's why it's falling under the coordination subheader. If I go ahead and click here and change from coordination to mechanical, there you go. It went under mechanical, ceiling plan, roof. So I'm gonna do the same thing with level three. Discipline is gonna be now mechanical. So even though the discipline is mechanical, I have the subdiscipline now here as blank. But if I were to select HVAC from there, now it's falling exactly where I want it, which is under HVAC. Let's do the same thing with the roof. Subdiscipline, HVAC. All right, so now we have all our floor plans and all our ceiling plans. Let me just rename this one to ceiling mechanical. And you know, the roof probably won't even have a reflected ceiling plan, but just in case, I'm gonna call it ceiling mech. If we don't need it, we'll just delete it. Maybe we need something for the mechanical penthouse or something like that. 
we'll see. So later on, what we're going to do is we're going to separate our views into modeling views, which are views that you can modify, turn off, turn on, play with the visibility graphics, overrides and all that without affecting the printing of your sheets. And then we're going to have some sheet views, which are just printing views, but we'll do that in a later chapter. For now, let's just save our model and close. So save as project. I'm going to go to options. I'm going to keep my maximum backups to one. So I don't have a bunch of backups all over the place. And I'm going to call it 001 mech for mechanical. Save. And now we can close.